Hello there. Welcome to Sea Terms. Today, we will learn about OAuth 2.0, the roles it provides, how it works, and how to exploit it. So let's get started. First, let's see what is OAuth 2.0. The OAuth 2.0 authorization framework is a protocol that allows a user to grant a third-party website or application access to the user's protected resources without necessarily revealing their long-term credentials or even their identity. Now let's take a look at roles that exist within the OAuth 2 framework. For simplicity, we will use three roles to start. We have the user, the application, and the API. Within the API, there is an authentication server and a resource server. In OAuth 2.0, there are four different grant types for different use cases. Authorization code grant, implicit grant, password grant, and client credentials grant. In this video, we will only learn about the authorization code grant and implicit grant. So let's start with authorization code grant. The authorization code grant type is used by confidential and public clients to exchange an authorization code for an access token. For better understanding, let's see the diagram. This is a graphical representation of how authorization code grant works. In the diagram here, there is four entity. First application client, which is third party app. Second, there is a user who is resource owner. Third is the authorization server, which can be Facebook. Google, Microsoft, or any other, and fourth is the browser. So the simple workflow is that user access client application, and the client application will request user authorization to authorization server. Now, if the user authenticates and authorizes the application, the authorization server will send the authorization code to the client application. Now, the client application will use the code to get the access token from the authorization server. An authorization server will validate the code and send the access token to the client application. This was the authorization code grant. So, now let's move forward to the implicit grant type. The implicit grant type is a way for a single page JavaScript app to get an access token without an intermediate code exchange step. Let's understand it with the diagram here. User will access the client application. The client application will ask for user authorization to the authorization server. And if user authenticates and authorizes the application, authorization server will descend the access token to the client application. All right, now we have understood OAuth 2.0. Let's see how to exploit it. Weak redirect URI configuration. Depending on the grant type, either a code or token is sent via the victim's browser to the callback endpoint specified in the redirect URI parameter of the authorization request. If the OAuth service fails to validate this URI properly, an attacker may be able to construct a CSRF like an attack, tricking the victim's browser into initiating an OAuth flow that will send the code or token to an attacker-controlled redirect URI. Cross-site request forgery. The state parameter is used to protect against C, S, or F attack. If state parameter does not exist or has a static value that never changes, the OAuth flow will be vulnerable to C, S, or F. Sometimes, even if the state parameter exists, the application might not be validating the parameter. Reusability of an OAuth access token. If an application doesn't expire use token in such cases there is a possibility to log in with the previous OAuth token and if the URL leak with the token an attacker can use that token to log in as the victim. This video covers all the points to understand OAuth 2.0. We will be coming soon with a practical video on the same. Till then stay tuned to see terms and if you like this video don't forget to hit like button and subscribe see terms for more videos. How